Hello, I'm Rowan and I'm isolating at home with my family in London and I wanted to read a poem called Compton by W.H. Auden which is the last from his series Ore Canonicae which goes through the canonical hours of the day and I think I keep coming back to it because it's easy to feel in quarantine that all you have is this just unmarked, undifferentiated expanse of days that don't add up to anything and this is a poem that uh, reclaims the dignity of just getting through the day and being able to look back on it with kindness and forgiveness and uh, coming to rest. So this is Coffin. Now, as desire and the things desired cease to require attention, as, seizing its chance, the body escapes, section by section, to join plants in their chaster piece, which is more to its real taste, now a day is its past, its last deed and feeling in should come the instant of recollection, and the whole thing makes sense. It comes, but all I recall are doors banging, two housewives scolding, an old man gobbling, a child's wild look of envy, actions, words that could fit any tale, and I fail to see either plot or meaning. I cannot remember a thing between noon and three. Nothing is with me now but a sound, a heart's rhythm, a sense of stars leisurely walking around, and both talk a language of motion I can measure but not read. Maybe my heart is confessing her part in what happened to us from noon to three. The constellations indeed sing of some hilarity beyond all liking and happening. But, knowing I neither know what they know, nor what I ought to know, scorning all vain fornications of fancy, now let me, blessing them both for the sweetness of their cessations, accept our separations. A stride from now will take me into dream. Leave me without a status among its unwashed tribes of wishes, who have no dances and no jokes, but a magic cult to propitiate what happens from noon till three. Odd rites which they hide from me. Should I chance say on youths in an oak wood insulting a white deer, bribes nor threats will get them to blab. And then, past untruth is one step to nothing. For the end, for me as for cities, is total absence. What comes to be must go back into non-being, for the sake of the equity, the rhythm past measure or comprehending. Can poets, can men in television, be saved? It is not easy to believe in unknowable justice, or pray in the name of a love whose name once forgotten. Libera me, libera si, dear si. And all poor SOBs who never do anything properly, spare us in the youngest day, when all are shaken awake, facts are facts, and I shall know exactly what happened today between noon and three. That we too may come to the picnic, with nothing to hide, join the dance as it moves in perichoresis, turns about the abiding tree.